Hello friends, welcome again to part 4 of uh, M-Pesa Integration Node.js Express. So in part 3, we were here where we were able to, to restructure our project, uh, where we had to separate the routes and the controllers and the main application, that is index.js. And then we were also able to set up a MongoDB database and we were able to connect to it using uh, Mongoose. And I told you that uh, in the next uh, session, which is part four, and which we are, we are going to do it right now, we are going to now begin writing our code. And uh, as if you know the process or you follow the process of integration, the first thing we need to is to generate a password. This M-Pesa password should be a base 64 encoded string, and that string will be a concatenation of the business shortcode, a pass key, and the current timestamp. Okay, in the format of year, month, a date, hour, minute, and second. Okay, so so to do that, uh, we will need a package, and I have identified a package called a uh, node date time. So this package you just search for. It is GitHub. Like this is the link, and then we have the uh, we have the this is the link, and we have. Down here, we have the instruction on how it is installed. So, for example, it's uh, npm install uh, node date time. Okay, so we are using npm and you're going to install it by doing this. So, just copy this. Go to your terminal. Let's just stop the server by doing control C. And then after stopping the server, we can just do uh, npm npm install node node date time like that. Hit enter. So this is going to install the node date time package, okay? And that's already been installed, okay? So we will have to require that package. We have already installed that, but before that, let me show you something uh, first. We need, we set up the .env file. And I told you that this .env file is going to carry our environmental variables. And we have the we have various um, various parameter that we need. We need the pass key and we need the short code. So this pass key and short code will come from the test credentials. So let me just show you right now. Mpesa a developers a portal in your account. Let me just log in using my account. And here we are. And if I just, after logging in, if I just do a slash test credentials, I am going to get a Lipan and Pesa short code, which is this one. And I'm also going to get Lipan and Pesa online uh, passkey. So this passkey, I've just copied it and populated it. It is here. This is the passkey. And that short code is here. Use the shortcode that we need. So let's just finish setting up the uh, the credentials. Other credentials, for example, we need the the consumer key and the consumer secret. So if I go back to my apps, I have here a several apps that I created. Let me just use this one. We have the consumer key here, and the consumer secret. So let me set up the uh, consumer key in environmental in the environmental variable so just do consumer 
key equals to that and then consumer secret equals to let's go back and copy consumer secret and just paste there so here we have already set up the uh, our environmental variable that we need to interact with the mpesa daraja api so after this now we will go we'll first begin with the first step of uh, generating the password and i told you that this password is going to be used when we are generating the when we are generating we are when we are doing a sdk push right consumer key and consumer secret will be used when we are um, generating the token so let's begin by generating the mpesa um, uh, generating the password so the first thing we have to go to the mpesa controller and since we are we have those uh, uh, sorry since we have those variables set up in uh, .env file we'll have to require .env the package that we installed yesterday so just do require require dot env dot config like that so after that you are able to access the variables in the dot env file and then i will install the package called uh, dot i will call the so, so let's just um let's just define the variable that are going to be globally so let's do const uh, const passkey is equals to process so remember that after requiring this dot env you are able to access the values in dot env file using process dot env so process dot env dot the name of that so if we are accessing consumer key we are accessing the pass key we just go and this the name we gave it is the pass key like this so just copy that So it will be passkey is equals process the tnv dot passkey like that, and then const mm, passkey we have short code so const short code the same process dot tnv dot <coughs> dot passkey this one ah, not passkey dot short code short code like that and then after that we'll define const uh, consumer key is equals to process dot dot env dot consumer key consumer we have to consumer key you have to be careful that they have to be same and then cons consumer secret secret equals to process dot env dot consumer secret like that so after defining these uh, values that they are in our dot env file as you can see uh, this is how they are consumer key consumer secret after defining this or importing them in our mpesa uh, controller uh, we now we are now able to use them in doing various uh, things so after doing that we we'll love to we have we've installed the uh, we have installed the date time package and that date time package is going to help us so much our date so just do const date time is equals to require 
node date time like this okay so now we can start doing it so let's now start doing uh, fun the function the method that is going to help us generate the the password so just do const new password equals to arrow function that means arrow function and then here we have to do date time okay we have um, we have just do, we have to do let's just do const dt is equals to date time dot create so date time has a method called create and that creates uh, the current time and then after that we have to format it to the required uh, required format by mpesa so we'll do const formatted format formatted is equals to dt dot format so you have it has a method called format and this and now you have to format it in the format of here month day hour date and hour minutes seconds so this is the format that we want it to to return so let's just copy that should be a string like that okay so that is our formatted uh, our formatted date and uh, that is our formatted date and, and uh, date and time now the safari comes a uh, required format so after that uh, we are going to now get the password string so const pass string so this pass string is the string that now we concatenate short code we concatenate the consumer secret uh, pass key and then the current timestamp okay but remember that this current uh, this code let's do it first so that will be will be pass key we we'll begin with short code and then we concatenate with um, with the pass key then after that you concatenate with um, after that you concatenate with formatted time timestamp time so formatted timestamp like that so that will be a string so let's do here and then after that we just we can just return so you just do return pass string return pass string like that so after returning that and uh, here so in this mpesa password we'll just do one thing uh, we'll just do message and then you can just add password in this object password let's do password and that password will be we will just now use that method new password we have new password this method so every time this method is called is going to output this string here so after saving that let's just go and test it again so the first thing we have to run the server by doing npm start like that okay i think there's no error I have to, yeah now let's go to the our where our server is running and just refresh and there you go now you see now it has this is the short code you still remember it was 1743 and let's confirm that if you go to dot env we find that it is 1743 79 
and this is what you are saying here 79 up to here after that it is concatenated with this with the pass key and pass key comes up to here now this is the pass key this is the pass key so if we go to the .env and look for the pass key you see it ends with 19 here okay begins by bf ends with 19 919 and if we go here bf with ends with 919 so the the, the 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 last part of it is this now date and time in the format that safari com require that is year month date hour minute second okay uh, are we done generating password and i'll tell you that no we are not done we are not done because uh we are not done because um because safaricom requires a base 64 encoded string okay so this is just string so to do that so we just do const okay const base 64 encoded password is equals to yeah, a method called buffer dot from I just do buffer from and then the string uh, sorry so the string will be first string and then you do to to string and then inside this to string it should be should be base 64 so this is going to convert this is going to convert this string you see here into the 64 so this method is javascript method to convert maybe a string into a base 64 format so it is buffer dot from and here you pass the string that you want to convert to the 64 and then this is going to output they are going to output that string in the 64 format Okay, so after doing that, we just instead of returning this string, we now return the base64 encoded string here. So let's just copy this. And here let's just return the base64 encoded string. Save it. And if we now refresh, you'll find that now it has the string base64 encoded. Now if we try to we can maybe let me show you something let me try to take this thing and convert it back to to the ascii format um that, that is the 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 that is the normal strings format so const ascii format is equals to so use again buffer dot from now from here we are going to paste that string <clears throat> and define the format so that string is base 64 encoded so do 64 do base 64 and then after that we do to string and then we, are, we want to convert it to ask now this time Let's say that. So we have the 65 encoded string, but now we are converting it to we are converting it to ASCII. Okay. So let's save that now. Instead of returning this, or returning this, let's just re try returning this just for testing. Not that we are will be using that. Just for testing, let's just return this. And let's go back and refresh. And there we go. We are back to the same string we had previously. This one. 17, 43, 79. And then the date we have 2020. So that is now if we convert it back to if we convert it back to the normal string. 
but this is just for showing you how it works but we are not going to use this one so let me just delete this let me just delete that what we are going to use is this b64 encoded password so this is the one that we are going to return okay so after returning that you know uh, rest that is on whatever we are doing to do this we are not going to return and uh, we are not going to return json this time so we are just going to return the, the new password here so we are just go, going to do let's just delete res dot send so we are just going to send back the password like that so not uh, erase dot send and what we are going to send is the password so let's go and refresh again and see if it works and there we go uh, now we are just getting back the password and remember that is the same thing if you are familiar with the laravel you are, you are following the laravel tutorial you find that we were just returning password so basically this method here returns password so it this one and new pass is going only going to return password okay so thank you so much for following and now this the we have done we have we are done with uh, generating password now in the next session we are going to look at how we can generate the token how we can generate the token this time round we are going to use consumer key and we are going to use consumer secret let me just change that consumer secret so thank you so much please consider subscribing to my channel liking and sharing see you in the next session